Because I want to know, after eight years, is my tongue piercing still open? We about to find out, boo. Hey there, my beautiful, 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 beautiful. Hey there, let's get into it. So, when I was in college, okay, 2006, I had went and got my tongue pierced. Now, fun fact, very random fact about me, but when I go get piercings, when I go get tattoos, I prefer to kind of get them by myself because I don't know, I feel like my nerves isn't as bad. So I'm way more calm. It's just something about other people's energies and excitement and stuff around me that kind of fucks with me. Because believe it or not, like the day before I got my tongue pierced in college, I actually went to that same like piercing place with a group of people before. And we all were supposed to get our tongue pierced and or whatever pierced. You know how everybody go and right get their different things pierced. We were all gonna do that and I like chicken shit out because it was just too much energies happening, y'all. <laughs> everybody getting pierced that I just couldn't. But literally the next day I go and get my tongue pierced by myself, accomplishment. Like, come back to the dorm room, like y'all, I got my tongue pierced and everybody like, what bitch? Like, you couldn't get it yesterday? Like, no ho, I had to go do it myself, girl. No, super cute. Being a teen, young adult in college, cute. You know, a little piercing or whatever, especially back in 2006. Like, tongue rings was like in 2006. It was like bell bottoms, bitch, okay? It was like bell bottoms, bitch. Tongue rings was in, okay? I got older, I had this habit of like taking my tongue ring out and then putting it back in. Like I would take it out for like a month and they'll put it back in and it'll go right back in. And then maybe a year within me and Amber being together. So like basically eight years ago, y'all, I took it out and basically just never put it back in or forgot to put it back in. And like a whole year or some change went past and boom, I just never put the tongue ring back in again, right? So, I don't know why, but um, a couple months ago, I was kind of like in this phase of like, oh my God, I miss my tongue ring, right? And so I picked up this random tongue ring, right? Um, regular 14 gauge, tries to put it in, it did not work, it did not go in. So I kind of chopped it up, like of course, it's closed. It's been eight years, bitch, it's closed, right? And then I was on Instagram and I saw, um, I don't know if y'all know who she is, but her name is Amy. But I saw her put in her tongue ring after like seven years of being closed. And I'm like, wait a fucking minute, bro. Like, maybe my shit is still open. Like, maybe it is still open. You know, my ears are gauged, but I do have a pack of earrings that's never been used. I take an earring and I put the earring in my tongue and I can feel it go through. So I'm like, okay. I said, so maybe I just need to get a very, very, very thin dumbbell. Like a very, not dumbbell, but you know, a very, very thin bar. When you get your tongue pierced, they do it with like a 14 gauge. So I went to like a 18 gauge, which is way, way thinner than a 14 gauge. So I went on Amazon, cause I was just so curious y'all. I was so fucking curious. I went on Amazon and I ordered a pack of 18 gauge tongue rings y'all because I am just curious to see if these tongue rings are going to go in my tongue y'all and if it does I don't think it will because this is obviously not as thin as a in ring bar but I don't know we gonna see together because I want to know after eight years is my tongue piercing still open we about to find out, boo. We gonna find out, okay? So let me set this here. Um, I already have one out. Hold on, give me a second. Hold on, hold on. I got one out, I already then cleaned it. I already did all of that because I was comfortable in the bed, so I knew I did not want to get up, sis. Um, I already cleaned my hands. I've been cleaning the house. So I already cleaned my hands. Okay, is this gonna open? Okay, it's there. Y'all, y'all, we're going to see if my tongue is still open. Let's see. Oh my God, listen. You can still see the, you know, the like indented thing.
Can't find a hole, y'all. Hold on. <laughs> Look. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on now. It's, it gets to the, it, it goes through the top part. It's about getting it through the bottom piece. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> hold the fucking phone. Hold on, hold the phone. Now I gotta figure out how to put this damn ball on. I need to go put on a glove so it don't slip. <sighs> Y'all. Bitch. 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 Sis. <sighs> That's what... kind of pierce it a little not pierce it, it went through it just you have to like put put a little eek in it a little force to it mm. it went through it feels it feels weird like, i ain't had it in there for a long time so i can feel there there's this ball laying on my tongue <laughs> y'all Girl, no. Okay, so the thing, the thing, the key is, is to get a dumbbell to try. I'm not saying everybody's tongue ring will probably still be open, but if you are going to try, first of all, don't try. Okay, don't do what I do. Don't do what I do. If you grown, do, do it at your own disclosure. Um, obviously there's no blood, there's no nothing, it wasn't nothing crazy, it literally just went through. I just had to get a smaller, a smaller dumbbell, like, if, using a 14 gauge, oh no, it probably won't go through. Um, cause I'm sure your tongue has closed to some form of capacity, but, the 18 y'all, y'all, first of all, it's cool the fact that it even goes in. I can't see myself wearing it all the time or every day. Cause even still, like my talking is still like, I would have to get used to it. You know what I mean? Again, I guess it would be kind of like how you just got your tongue pierced, but it don't hurt. There's no bleeding, swelling, nothing weird like that. I'll come to y'all a little later to see how I feel still. But, um, this won't be something I would wear all the time or every day. Um, but it is something cool, just an accessory to put on because it's still open type thing. So I'm gonna keep my little pack of a ton of grains. And I'm gonna keep this in for a couple of days just so I can get used to it. Mind your business, mind your mama. Okay, mind your business, mind your mama, okay? Eight years. Girl, eight years. Wow. Wow. I can't. I used to have another piercing. Can y'all guess what other piercing that was? So I used to have another piercing as well that I took out. Um, maybe like a couple years after I got it, which I'm always gonna keep out because after a while I just didn't like it. Thought it make me look real hood and very ghetto and I felt like it went into the stereotype of being dark skin and having this piercing. But what piercing you think that was? I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, but 
my eyebrow, y'all. Back out. You can probably still see. You probably can still see the little. Yeah. You probably see the still little bone. I used to have my eyebrow pierced, y'all, back in the day, day, long time ago. Like, because my mama had her eyebrow pierced, and I wanted to be like, my mama, my mama got her eyebrow pierced, I want my eyebrow pierced. My mama got her son pierced, I want my son pierced. Okay? But then my personality starts showing with the gauges, and the septum, and the nose piercing, and shit like that. I think I only left my eyebrow piercing in for maybe like two years if that and took it out um but y'all i know i'm talking weird but bitch that's because i got a foreign i'm just in my mouth that i ain't had enough for a minute you know what i mean y'all got a little boo boo on my chin there's another story for another day. I got a little boo-boo on my chin, but it's healing very, very nicely. I went to the urgent care yesterday to make sure there was no infection, nothing. But I don't even know if y'all would have been able to notice if I ain't say nothing. But yeah, I had a little boo-boo on my chin, y'all. My chin was split, the fuck open. The fact that it's healing after like three days so well is crazy to me. But anyway, y'all, wow. Again, and I'm hanging around. Anyway, y'all, uh, I'm about to go. I love y'all down. I've just been clean. I've been really in just a very um, mellow mood. I've been very, very to myself. Very, very chill. Very just like cleaning and just like in my zone. You know, I've been writing down my shit, making it happen. I'm just in my zone. I'm about to put on a good ass movie and work on some Be More content. If you want to support the shop, you already know what to do. Go to the um, description box below. Click the link. My website is www.beamorecollection.com or you can go to Etsy and search um, Be a More Collection to get any of this goodness, okay? Any of the goodness on my shop. If you are still looking for a planner, there are literally like by the time y'all see this, maybe five left, five to three left. So if you're still looking for a planner, go over there and get y'all a planner. Um, so y'all can get, you know, y'all 2022 together. Because how have you been, girl? How have you been functioning without one? Baby, I need a planner, girl, with all the stuff I be having going on, boo. From the personal to the business to the girl to the to the ruler to the tutor anyway i love you guys down and i will see you guys in the next video until next time bye